Ukraine's counter-offensive against Russian forces is proving difficult due to landmines and other obstacles but Ukrainian forces are right to proceed cautiously. Now, some five weeks after Ukraine launched its long-anticipated counter-offensive along a front of more than 1,000 kilometers stretching from an area near Kherson in the south to the Donbass and the Kharkiv region in the east, Ukrainian forces are preparing to retake Bakhmut, which has acquired the status of symbolic beyond its strategic value. Following a month-long lull in the fighting in this area, Ukrainian forces are advancing on the northern and southern flanks of the city, hoping to surround it to avoid getting embroiled again in street-to-street -street fighting that could bring them heavy losses. Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malier said that Ukrainian troops had managed to capture the heights near Bakhmut and encircle the Russian troops by keeping the entrances, exits and movements of Russian troops around the city within their sights and occasionally targeting them. In a similar statement, the Ukrainian ground forces commander, General Alexander Sersky, said Russian forces in Bakhmut were trapped, and that the city was now under the fire control of the defense forces, indicting that all points in Bakhmut are in the range of Kyiv's artillery. The fighting in the area, which is pinning down thousands of Russian troops amid Ukrainian pushes elsewhere on the front, is almost incessant, with military operations ongoing day and night. New video footage, released by the Ukrainian Hornet Unit, section of the 3rd Assault Brigade reportedly shows troops dropping explosives on Russian trenches with armed drones. The footage then shows the drone dropping another bomb on the tank and apparently eliminating three Russian soldiers who can be seen next to the tank. In other footage, showing a Ukrainian kamikaze drone destroying a Russian infantry fighting vehicle. The kamikaze drone can be seen hurtling toward its target as the Russian vehicle passes through a path between an open field and a line of trees. Later, another drone approached the IFV while it was in the path of fire, and dropped a number of bombs on the vehicle to finish it off. One bomb started a fire in the rear of the vehicle, while the other, dropped directly into the hold, sent debris flying through the air. Additionally, footage filmed from the drone shows a Russian soldier walking through a forest area after a UAV camera spots him. The area was later shown to be a target for Ukrainian artillery. One Russian soldier is then seen running while another is seen in a foxhole. The footage then shows further explosions as Russian troops are targeted. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reports from 24 February 2022 to date. The armed forces of Ukraine have eliminated some 235,530 Russian military personnel, including 510 soldiers over the past few days. Ukrainian forces have also destroyed 4,090 Russian tanks, 7,990 armored fighting vehicles, 4,402 artillery systems and other Russian equipment. Meanwhile, marks a pivotal moment with numerous news from the southern front. Ukrainians executed a series of deadly strikes, deploying the most sophisticated weapons from their armory. The first target was Tokmak, one of the largest prefrontal towns, consequently a significant logistical hub. It's here that the Russians stationed thousands of soldiers and numerous ammunition depots, equipment warehouses, and command posts. Ukrainian forces conducted a HIMARS strike on Russian military bases situated on the northwestern outskirts of the town, near the former poultry farm. This strike resulted in severe damage to the Russian camp. But it didn't end there. As Russian forces were grappling with the aftermath, Ukrainians launched a second strike using longer-range multiple launch rocket systems. The second strike proved even more devastating as Ukrainians used cluster munitions. These munitions are particularly hazardous as unexploded grenades can render the entire area perilous until fully demoned. It was a cunning tactic, capitalizing on the Russian practice of using a high number of mobilized soldiers for cleanup post-strike, thereby multiplying the damage.
The second Ukrainian strike targeted Berdyansk, another major Russian logistical hub owing to its enormous harbor, strategic location between Melitopol and Mariupol, and vast industrial zones. Ukrainian forces launched multiple Storm Shadow missiles, aiming for the industrial area. Despite Russian air defense operators claiming they shot down nearly all the missiles, some reached their target, resulting in at least one military object's destruction within the harbor territory. Overall, Ukrainians have developed a devastating tactic by combining HIMARS and cluster munition strikes on Russian military camps and also conducted an effective series of Strom Shadow strikes.